is Zoe Osthoff. I'm 23 years old. I was born in Germany and I started horse riding when I was six. That was also pretty much the age I fell in love with horses. I just love them as animals and we had a stable close to our home. My family has no horse background, so I just went there to pet the horses. And at some point I had my first riding lessons and then I always went there every day by bike. <laughs> I'm Jodie Hall McAteer. I'm 22 years old and I'm a rider from Great Britain. I've been riding for as long as I can remember. My grandparents had a riding school at home, so I was always trotting around on the back of my grandma's lessons. And my family, well, my parents were involved in the industry, so it was kind of a natural progression to go into the sport and show jumping, and I've never swayed from it since. I'm Linda, I'm 20 years old, and I started riding quite by accident. In year 2011, I didn't go as a child with my family to a vacation, but instead I, with my, I went with my aunt's friend uh, to a horse camp. And ever since then, I couldn't stop riding and being around horses. I was always interested in the project Young Riders Academy. And after the first Czech person got selected, I got interested even more because I followed his whole way. And I really did my best at the selection. It worked. Uh, I could start training with Ben Schroeder and I got so lucky that I could stay after as a working rider for the Schroeder stable. My biggest fear for people that choose show jumping as their career path in the future is that it's going to be difficult to get the social license for the sport to continue. I mean, it's the only sport in the world where animals are involved, so with that, it's going to be very important that the general public are aware that these horses, they're not tools, they're animals and we love them and we care for them and it's all about the connection involved so I like to think that the next generation will make sure that they show that to the rest of the world really and that the horse remains central in all that they do not only as a rider but also as an athlete. If I think about the goals I have I really want to become one of the best riders in our sport but this is a goal that is really far away I think so now since I'm in the Young Riders Academy it was definitely a goal for me to get selected for it. So that's one I can say I achieved. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to everything I learn and uh, I hope there's a lot more to come for me. The tips I want to give to young riders that are just entering into the sport is definitely stay on what you're doing, keep working towards your goal and never give up. It's always up and down. I think it's not the straight, straight stairs up. So I think that's something they have to keep in mind. Hi, my name is Ben Schroeder. I'm together with my brothers, uh, Wim and Gergo, the owner of the BWG stables. And uh, our experience is uh, from young horses here till Olympic level. Um, my training system for the girls is, uh, first I look how they, how they ride, and then I try to get the weakest points uh, to plus points. I think the Young Riders Academy is a very good in initiative. Uh, to help this talent for riders to the next step. I'm Matt Garrigan, I'm 24 years of age. I was part of the Young Riders Academy in 2017. I came here to BWG Stables in the Netherlands in 2020 to train and then after that I started to work for Ben Wim and Gerko Schroeder here and I've really enjoyed my time here. Young Riders not only gave me the opportunity to train here at the International Stable, but also to see how they manage the horses and if everything around, which is for me very helpful because I'm not from an equestrian family. So it brought me to a completely different equestrian world. So being a part of the Young Riders Academy, it's meant that I was fortunate enough to come to BWG Stables for training with Ben Schroeder and Gurko and Wim also as well. And it's been an invaluable experience for me. I've been here a year and a half now and I'm very fortunate for all the skills I've learned. But other than also the technicality of my riding, I've also learned a lot as an individual in all aspects of the sport, from the business to the mental side with the help of Poppy Blanford as well. So it's opened a lot of doors for me. I applied for the selection because I really like the program of the Young Riders Academy and a few friends of mine are also part of it. So like the former years and I talked with them so I knew it's a great program to improve my skills, my riding and everything they do. And I think it's also one by really really good people that have a good mind and do a lot for our sports. So I really enjoy to be a part of it now and I'm so thankful 